Welcome to another RMS support tutorial. In this demonstration, we will provide additional clarification and explanation to RMS revision history changes, document packages, and exceptions for document package dependencies. With the most recent version of RMS, revision history has been added to most of the modules in RMS. Revision history will now track when items are submitted, rejected, or accepted. We can best demonstrate revision history and its features by showing the perspectives of both the contractor and government user. Yellow or gold navigation buttons represent contractor mode and blue represent government mode. From the contract menu, we will navigate to the correspondence module. Correspondence can be filtered at the top by the blue reference tiles. Draft, sent, and received. Let's create a new draft by clicking the add button and selecting a letter from our contractor home office. Confirm the correspondence letter number, then click the OK button. You will notice the revision history section at the bottom. This will display blank until an action of submitting, rejecting, or accepting is completed. Be sure to enter all information according to your contract's policy and add a document to the contractor document package. Add your desired files and sign them appropriately. You will notice that even though the document package has been generated and a document has been added, that there are no locations to submit this particular package for review. This is due to document package dependency or simply put, modules where the accept, reject, or return actions are dictated by the work performed in the module itself rather than in the document package. Document package dependencies have been added to most modules in RMS, according to this list of document packages. If we click the back button, we will also notice that there's still no revision changes in our revision history. Revision history will only capture information once we complete and submit this correspondence letter. We may do so by simply changing the sent status to draft letter complete, sent to government. As a reminder, once this letter is marked sent, this action cannot be undone. By clicking the back button, we can view the correspondence sent filter and display a read and view only version of the most recently sent correspondence. Here we can see a change to the document package status as well as the revision history information at the bottom. At a glance, Revision history displays the date and time an action was revised or completed by a specific RMS user. By double-clicking the item, you will also see the correspondence revision history details at the top and any changes that were made to the letter or the document package before the action was completed. Let's take a look at this letter process in government mode. Much like contractor mode, correspondence can be filtered at the top by the blue reference tiles. Since we have just received new correspondence from the contractor, we will select the Received All tile. By selecting and editing this letter, we are greeted with a familiar menu where we will ensure all information is correct before completing and accepting this document. Once a date received day has been entered, the Accept Letter checkbox will allow us to complete and accept this correspondence. Before we do that, let's re-enter into the document package. We can see there are still no ways to complete or submit this document package to PCF even in government mode. As mentioned before, modules where the accept, reject, or return actions are dictated by the work performed in the module itself, such as the correspondence module, will require an action to be completed before the document package status changes. Here are a few examples worth noting. Government-generated correspondence will require the accept checkbox to be marked so the contractor will be able to view the document package information. With contractor exposure hours, RMS will prompt the user to choose to complete the exposure hours report with or without a signature. In contractor mode, QC daily report document packages are set up as independent, whereas in government mode, the document package is dependent on an action. For import-export modules such as Excel, Spec Syntax, and Network Analysis Schedule, Revision history only captures data for requests or acceptance for import, not the actual import of the file. Since this correspondence letter is complete and does not require any further attention, we will accept the letter which will make this letter read-only and will accept all document packages. 
This action will also allow the contractor to see the contents of the document package sent by the government. The revision history by default is sorted in descending order. However, further refinement can be achieved by clicking on their respective columns for additional filtering options.